Uh, what is the title of your book? Uh, Design Thinking in the Classroom. How did you come up with this title? Actually, I was asked to do this book, publisher, in September of last year, and was wondering if I was interested in doing a book like this because I have been doing design thinking for a while now. They had great success with a book about growth mindset. They thought it would be the next topic they create a book for. They found design thinking. And they uh, did some research and just found me and contacted me. And yeah, I Done. said yes. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Gary and welcome to my channel. I have a special guest today and his name is Mr. David Lee. Here's his channel. Check him out. Mr. Lee is a close friend of mine, talks about tech and everything amazing in the classroom. At Singapore American School, the school that I'm currently teaching at, David is one of our special ed tech team coaches. He doesn't specifically work with me, but he is one of those people who is constantly looking and trying to work with everyone who is interested in technology. He has an amazing book out called Design Thinking. Truly, if you don't have it, you need to go check it out. Design Thinking. David Lee, honestly, a book that everyone should have in their classroom about innovating, about helping students think critically, solve problems, and ask questions that are meaningful. I had the opportunity to have David in my class this year, and we as a class focus on empathy. We did something called the Empathy Challenge. We focus specifically on design thinking, defining it, and looking at the five phases. Five phases are empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. Now, I truly love the empathy part of design thinking. Why? Because it helps students start to understand how to feel and connect with other people. This phase in the design thinking process, to me, allows students to make connections it allows students to build powerful things that truly help the individual. This part of the process allows students to take specific actions and decide are they going to solve or improve something. Now in this lesson we stayed in the empathy phase for a while. David looked closely at students questioning, helped them talk about interviewing, and we specifically asked why. Why, 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 and why. We talk to students about listening and not judging. Now, some of us, not all of us, made it to the next phase, define, which means students start to develop a problem statement that helps them really truly understand what it is they are trying to do. David did an amazing job explaining to students what this statement looks like by using creative sentence starters and prompts that were placed on the board. When we hit the IDA phase, Mr. Lee talked specifically about quantity, not quality. He wanted students to continue to generate ideas that had their brains popping, just simply generating, generating, generating until they ran out of ideas. It was awesome. Now, the prototype phase is something we're looking at this week. Now, the prototype phase is not for everyone. Some of our kids are ready and some of them are not. I'm excited for kids to start creating, start making, trying to do things what they've been talking about all week long. This phase is all about making things become a reality. Making, making, making. And once we make it through the prototype phase, we test. Now that is going to be exciting. That's it for this week. I mean, I'm super excited to continue this work with David in my classroom. Until next time, stay in the gray area. Oh yeah, don't forget to follow David on YouTube. The guy is phenomenal.